Hi, my name is Amanda Grimm, and I'm the violist of the Petar Yankovic Ensemble. And today I'm going to talk to you about how to practice fast running 16th note passages. Um, the passage I'm going to use to demonstrate this is actually um, from my group's repertoire. It's uh, an arrangement of Tango Number no. 3 by Astor Piazzolla. So fast 16th note passages are something you encounter in all aspects of the repertoire, from solo to orchestral and also in chamber. Um, the way that I like to start learning uh, a passage like this is um, by practicing with rhythms. And I find that this helps in terms of learning the notes and also in terms of coordinating what's going on with the left and right hand. So the rhythm I usually start with is long, short, long, short. <laughs> short, short, short. Short, 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 long. Or any combinations of longs and shorts that you can come up with. Um, the second thing I like to do, once I'm a little more familiar with the notes, is practice extremely slowly. And it seems slightly counterintuitive, but the best way to play fast is actually to practice slow. So when I practice slowly, I keep three things in mind. I, I work on three things. The first is clarity and resonance. So I make sure that every note has a clean beginning, um, a middle, and an end, and that it has that I'm creating the most beautiful sound that I can throughout each note. The second thing that I think about when practicing slowly is intonation. So making sure that notes are in tune with open strings where applicable, and that the intervals within the fingers and within the hand are in tune. So any thirds, fourths, fifths, whatever. Uh, maybe in the hand. Um, and the third thing that I think about when practicing slowly is um, what my body is doing. So making sure that my shoulders are relaxed and that my arms are relaxed and that I'm using the minimal uh, amount of motion that I can in both the right and left hand. Because any extraneous motion in the left hand or in the arm, in the right arm, can make the process of speeding up the passage more difficult because you're wasting energy on, on that extra motion. So uh, practicing slowly is kind of a complex uh, tactic, but just to give you an idea of what I do with the intonation, I'll play, I'll play a few notes. fourth to make sure it's in tune, and then this third, and checking to make sure that the C is in tune with the open string also, and so on from there. Um, and then the final step in uh, learning a passage like this is getting it up to tempo. So the way I do that is get out the trusty metronome and set it at a very slow, uh, slow metronome marking, play, one at which I can play the passage very, very cleanly. And then I slowly turn the metronome up in small increments um, until I reach a point where I don't feel that I can play it cleanly or comfortably anymore, at which point I'll stop. Um, step away from the passage for a while, pick it up maybe later in the day or the next day, um, get out the metronome again, maybe start at a tempo slightly faster than the one I did previously, um, and just slowly work my way up until I have it at a tempo I'm comfortable with. So those are some tips on how to practice 16th notes, 
and happy practicing.